a little bit of red. I poured it into the top reservoir of the airbrush. There's a trigger on the airbrush that allows a lot of paint or a little bit of paint to come through to the air spout. It looks like I'm barely painting anything, but you can see a little bit of yellow and I'd rather go light with the paint instead of too heavy. I used the heat gun to let it dry faster and I flipped it over and painted the bottom. I'm thinking about an uncooked donut. It starts off as white dough, as you deep fry it, then it starts to turn golden brown. I mixed in a couple drops of red and then sprayed a light layer of red pigment on the sides and I got that golden brown color look. I also did it on the tail. I really slowed down, took my time, and really got to know the airbrush. It's really different than a regular paintbrush. As the donut got more cooked, got more golden brown, I started to get more hungry too. I added more white to the reservoir and I sprayed the donut to make it look less saturated, especially on the bottom where it's too yellow. With 1000 grit sandpaper, I sanded down the little bumps that I had occurred when I was painting. I think I fell in love with airbrushing 